Hey there, I'm Bella, and lately I've been making a bunch of assets for the Twitch integrated throwing system because they are just so fun for me to make. The Twitch integrated throwing system, often abbreviated to TITS or TITS, uh, is a paid program you can run during your stream that lets viewers throw objects at your VTuber model. This works with both 2D models in VTube Studio or 3D models with VC Face, which is what I use. It comes preloaded with a few simple models like foods, this bike, a brown bear, you know, the usual like, expected default models, but you can import your own, including 2D sprites and your channel emotes. Setting up and installing the program itself is very straightforward. Just add it in OBS as a game capture and make sure you've got transparency ticked. You'll need to go into the connections tab and connect it to both Twitch so that way the redeems are synced and also either VTube Studio or VC Face, depending on what you're using. In VC Face, you'll need to go into Settings, General Settings, and then scroll all the way down to where it says OSC slash VMC Protocol. It's a little bit more than halfway down. The OSC slash VMC receiver needs to be enabled and copy the port number from the Twitch integrated throwing system into here. Click Apply VC Face Tracking and make sure everything else except for the track spine and chest is ticked. And that's pretty much it. Another big set to setting up is actually aligning the character border with where your VTuber sits in your scene. You'll just have to fiddle with the values to get it as close as you can, but at the end of the day, it's not very noticeable as long as it is close enough. Especially if your VTuber moves around a bit, it's not always going to line up perfectly. One last very useful thing before we continue is hotkeys. F9 will throw a random item, just like so, and pressing F10 twice will hide your GOI within the program so it's completely transparent in OBS, aside from the thrown objects, of course. Now, on the top of the screen, you may notice the throw screen, where we currently are, and the model importer. If we go to the model importer, this is where we can, of course, import models but also do some organization, import sound effects, and also create some more advanced effects with the event manager. You'll spend a lot of time in this tab, at least I do. The first thing I want to do, personally, is create a new folder to organize the default assets, and for any future sets I will add in. It's as simple as right-click, new folder. I'm going to right-click and rename it as well, though to move assets in, it isn't as intuitive as you may think, or maybe I'm just dumb because I didn't figure it out at first. I'm going to select all the assets I want to move and then right click on the folder and select move. Then we can double click and go in, look at the folder, back out, etc. do all that stuff. I'm going to create a new folder called Raddies to import some of my rat models. To save me moving these models later, I'm just going to import them straight into this folder. Hot tip. You don't have to import models one at a time, you can select as many as you want in the pop-up window. After importing, I can change some settings. On the right hand side, second tab down, I usually only adjust the scale here, as the speed and the strength I can turn down later rather than doing each model individually. We'll get to that soon. Of course, there's other settings like probability weight, which means you can set one model to be really rare, almost like a game to see if anyone can get it to spawn. The missed chance means that it has a chance to not hit your model and instead fly straight past it. Play around and see what is fun and what works for you. But this is the basics of importing models. Now onto the fun part, actually creating a redeem. Back on our throw screen, the bottom tab on the left here is our trigger menu and the big plus sign will add in a new trigger. The name for this trigger is really only something you will ever see. So just name it something that you will recognize what it means. I'm going to go with rats. Now the redeem title is a little bit more special. When a viewer goes into your channel point redeems to use this item, this is the title that they will see. So for example, I'm going to go with throw rats at my face. I'm sure you can come up with some more creative titles on your own. There's lots of different options here though. You can change the trigger. For now, I'm just going to keep it as a point redeem, but you can mess around so that way it throws something when you get a new follow, some bits, subs, raids, or even just on a specific word typed in your chat. There's also a throw and a bonk mode, which have different animations. Depending on the redeem, I sometimes only have one object thrown at a time, but sometimes it's a lot more fun to have multiple. So I'll just set this at five for now. 
Now I'll go over to the customization section, which let me browse through all the models to choose what I want thrown for this redeem. I'm just going to disable everything before I start, then select all of the rats and enable selected. And this section is why I don't adjust the speed and the strength on the individual models. The settings here will overwrite anything set for each of the models. If I were to test the redeem and find the objects are too big or too small, I can just change the size of all of them at once in this section and it's a lot easier and straightforward. At the moment, if I click on the trigger that will hide most of the pop-up, I can right click and test the new trigger we just made. And it's quite fast and quite violent. I personally like to take the speed and the strength down just so we can appreciate the models on screen a bit longer. And now if I test again, it's a little bit more pleasing to watch in my opinion. And that's almost everything set up for this redeem. Remember that we need to go into the trigger options and copy that redeem title. And then in our Twitch creative dashboard where you set up your channel point redeems, create a new redeem and paste the title in exactly. Do everything else as you normally would, like adding in a description, setting the price and changing the color and icon. Now in your OBS, you can test the redeem as a viewer would redeem it live. Some other fun things you can mess around with in the settings such as bonk mode, and this is just what that looks like. You can also mess around in the aim customization settings to do some fun and interesting things like the rain effect or the drop effect, but that's most of what you can do in this section here. If you're looking to change sound effects, that is totally possible too. We'll do that in the model importer screen and go over to the music note tab here. This works pretty much the same as when importing models, so you can right click and add whatever sound effect you wish. Now this is just basically the library displaying all of our sound effects, but to actually assign it to a specific model, we'll need to mess around in the event manager. I've got the black and white rat selected here and I'm going to modify the on hit SFX action. This then shows that library where all of our sounds are imported to which we can select one. One thing to note is you will need to select and then disable selected on the default sound, otherwise both will play at once. You can do some pretty fun things in the event manager here, and I'll take you through something I set up the other day. I'm going to be taking this egg from the Stardew Valley set and making it turn into a chicken when it hits. So same kind of concept as before, I'll select the egg model and I'm going to modify the on hit. Right click and add in a replace action. In here, I'll just find my chicken model to replace it with and make sure that it is selected. Then really quickly, I'm just gonna set up a new redeem to test it out. So back to the throw screen and in the trigger menu, I'm going to add new, just name it egg for now and make sure I've only got the egg selected. As usual, I'll turn down the strength and speed so it's easier to see, and that should be all I need to just test it out. And look at that, we've got an egg that turns into a chick when it hits me. I do want to take this a tiny bit further though. So what I also have included in the set are simple cubes colored the same color as the egg. I'm going to make sure to resize the cube down so that's a better size. Basically, Every model that gets imported in is resized to be all the same size. So even though I made this cube to be the same size as a pixel of the egg, the program will scale up to the, be the size of the full egg. So that's just the reasoning behind all that. Now I'm going back to my on hit and I'm going to add in another replace action and then select the cube. This time I'm going to set the mode to explode and bump up the number a little. I'm not fully done yet, but I do want to test it out to show you and then explain what is going to happen. So right now, if I test it, there's no chicken. Where did it go? Well, the one last thing that I need to do is rearrange the explode and the replace actions here. So what we have right now is the egg is replaced with a chicken, but then that chicken immediately explodes into cubes. By rearranging the two, the egg explodes into cubes and then it spawns the chicken. Just like so. There's so many more things you can do with the event manager here. I haven't had the time to fully explore and create all of the ideas that I have up in my head, but I'll be looking forward to it in the future. If you're interested in any of the assets that I have shown off here, I've got a few different theme sets added to my Etsy and Ko-Fi stores linked down below, and I'm constantly creating and adding more in the future as well. Go forth and create, explore, mess up, 
make some awesome things. I hope you enjoyed and I hope this helped.